Okay, so today's card in the card instructions, it talks about, um, I think I gave you guys colored card stock. Um, I didn't wanna really put designer series paper because this is the card um, I'm using kits. So today I'm working with the paper pumpkin kit that was from January. It's the Sending Hearts kit. Um, this kit is no longer available, but again, I, I try to remind you guys every time you can always subscribe to Paper Pumpkin if you'd like. It's $22 a month um, when you subscribe and it's free shipping right to your house. And I can't wait um, because this subscription is now going to allow me to continue doing my crafting with you guys, even though I'm in a tiny RV. So that's just mind boggling to me. I, I really didn't think I was going to be able to keep this going, but I can with these fun kits because I have everything I need. So if you want to use designer series paper and put that on top of maybe white cardstock or a piece of colored cardstock, you would just cut your designer series paper to four and a quarter by five and a half, okay? And um, so that would allow you guys to have designer series paper on the top of your cardstock if you wanted to do it that way. Uh, otherwise, you can just use a piece of colored cardstock or white cardstock if you want and stamp all over it. Put a design yourselves onto it. You don't have to have that design pre, you know, pre-done. Um, okay, the other thing I wanted to tell you guys was the strip that I gave you in the dimensions, I think it was, let's see, three and a quarter by um, four and a half, it looks like, using my trusty little ruler here at the bottom. Um, if you don't have scallop scissors, um, if you don't have a border punch, take a pair of regular scissors and just cut yourself a little curvy wave. All you're doing is just adding a little bit of um, interest to the edge of your strip here. It does not have to be perfect. Um, so again, if you don't have a border punch to use or um, scalloped scissors or, oh boy, what are those other scissors called? The decorative edge scissors. Just get yourself a pair of plain scissors, plain old scissors and cut yourself a little design. You could do triangle cuts in it if that makes it easier. Um, you can cut yourself a little wave pattern, whatever, just something to add a little visual interest, okay? The other thing that I'm doing today, um, because I was going to be trying to test some things out, is my card here in the paper pumpkin kit comes pre, mm, it, it's already pre-stamped. It's already got gold foil in it. Look, you can see the shimmer of the gold foil. So most of the work is done on here. And as you can see, when you compare the two, I do add some stamping and some stickers to it, but most of the work is done for you. Um, so for you guys today, I just gave you, you know, the, the plain whisper white card dimensions, I believe. And that was for a four and a half inch by three and a quarter inch piece of cardstock. And you guys can just stamp whatever you want on here. Do one big image if you like, do a bunch of smaller images if you like, however you guys want to do it. But believe me, you're more creative than you think you are. So don't, don't panic. Um, yes, you've got so stuff there. You have stuff there. Okay. So to create, oh, and the last thing I wanted to point out is, um, I gave you guys some dimensions. Again, I don't have my computer with me. So it was about two and a quarter. So about three and a quarter by two and a quarter, or excuse me, two and a quarter by three fourths is the size of my label. That's just what came in my kit. That was just a suggestion. You can add whatever you guys want. Um, and then the nine inches of ribbon, again, a suggestion, but what I did was I tied a little bow and I mounted it first and then did my label over top. So I hope you guys have a couple different ideas from that. And I'm gonna go ahead and get started and make my kit. So I'm gonna start with my my folded card base here. Okay. It's already ready to go. And I hope everything is not showing backwards for you guys. Um, it kind of concerns me because on the phone, it's showing everything flip flopped. So if it is just know that this card is opening like a book to the left is how it should be. So if it's showing flip flopped on your screen, I'm very, very sorry. I will work on getting that fixed for next time for sure. 
But what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna add a little bit of adhesive runner and I made myself a little kit so that I could try this out. Um, we are moving into temporarily a 34 foot travel trailer. So three, uh, three dogs and two kids in about 300 square feet of space. <laughs> So, so times are, are certainly going to be interesting. So I do appreciate you guys hanging with me. I am going to flip flop these things around here and just see how it goes. Okay. So what I did was I ran that adhesive along the back edge and instead of trying to adhere my scallop strip to the back where I can't really see very well, I went ahead and held my cardstock in my hands and, and placed that onto the strip. And that kind of allowed me to line it up better. That's just how I personally, it was easier for me. You guys do whatever works for you as always. I do have my D block or my, um, excuse me, my clear block that came in my original paper pumpkin kit. I love, love, love this block, you guys. And it's perfect for my little RV kit. And I'm working with Poppy Parade today. I'm gonna go ahead and just ink that up. And I'm gonna stamp mine on down. I love this card kit. Um, you know, a lot of people probably were using it for February or what have you. I'm not using it for that. Um, I think we can send love year round. So I'm excited. And again, in my little RV kit, I have my stamp chamois. I am so impressed that I was able to have this little kit put together. And you guys, I even was able to fit my stamp apparatus. So I was super duper excited about that. Um, that I could fit my stamp apparatus in here. How stinking cool is that? All right, I'm gonna grab my, my little um, hmm, stamps that came in my kit. I would love to hear how many of you guys are loving kits. How many of you guys are trying to use kits or have you purchased kits to try? Have you gifted kits to any family? How do they feel about them? Um, I'd love to hear what your guys' feedback is on either the paper pumpkin kits, if you've tried those out, or any of our kits, our all-inclusive kits, project kits. What do you guys think about kits just in general? Or is, does it make crafting easier for you? Does it make it mm, more stress-free so that you can sit down and, and um, you know, hang out with friends, even, even virtually online? And you don't have to think so hard about what you're going to create. You can just enjoy the time that you're getting to have with people creating. Or have you not tried the kit before and you're good with just kind of picking all, all your own stuff and that's a no-brainer for you? I am, I am a kit lover, guys. Let me tell you. Days like today have been slightly stressful, <laughs> but I love that I can come here and I can craft with you guys. And I know exactly what I'm going to make. I don't have to strain my brain. Look at these cute enamel. I hope you guys can see these. You guys are going to tell me how the lighting is. Um, look at these super cute enamel dots or enamel hearts. And I guess, you know, it's kind of a flower and kind of a star. So I don't know what to call that, but, um, they're super cute either way. And they're in petal pink, which I never in a billion years would have combined. Can you guys see that? I never would have combined petal pink, um, poppy parade and gold together. I mean, look at that. Never in a billion years would I have combined those. And they work so beautifully. It's perfect. I love it. So I'm really excited by that. Okay. I went ahead in advance today and I tied a bow, just a simple, as you can see, my hands are pretty bad here. Um, just a simple little bow. So 
So you guys can go ahead and do that if you'd like. And I'm gonna pull out my glue dots. And I'm just going to use the kissing technique. You kiss the ribbon to the glue dot and it sticks and picks it up. And then I'm gonna put mine, my ribbon, I guess about here. It's kind of a shame to cover up the ribbon. I kind of, it, it looks kind of cute alongside the mailbox too, but I'm gonna follow the instructions because I like how that comes out how the other one came out. Okay, so as far as this goes, this is a super simple card today, um, but I love how quickly it comes together. I love that we can be crafty, really no matter where we're at. I'm trying to not pounce it too hard so it doesn't shake you guys too much. Someday I hope to get an Archon mount that will, um, make things much, much easier. But until then, we work with what we have, right? So on my label, I'm going to be stamping the sending love your way sentiment. Straight down, straight up. Hello, super cute. Can you guys see that? I love, and I love that, um, I don't know if you guys noticed this, I just noticed this, the end of the punch, the way it's decorated, it looks like the lovely you punch bundle. It looks like it's been punched from that. So that's kind of cool. And I'm gonna stamp off here and clean this stamp. Back up. Oh, we have some comments coming up. I'm going to try to read them. Very good. Oh, you love paper pumpkin, Esther? That's good to know. It's always nice to know what people have tried and what, what kind of things you guys are really liking or enjoying. Um, you know, Seriously, six months ago, I, I never in a million years would have thought I could have had a kit that would have worked in a travel trailer. So I'm really, really, really blown away that I can put a kit together and I can use it with paper pumpkin and I can still craft, <laughs> which is very exciting to me. Okay, when I'm mounting this, um, I'm putting my cardstock even on top and the bottom, and then I try to do even left to right, so not, not too big a deal. And let's see, our trusty, trusty, trusty dimensionals. And I know this is a super quick card today. Thank you guys so much for popping on anyway and for your patience. I hope you guys are getting to enjoy having some crafty time for yourselves as well today. Go ahead and remove these. I'm gonna attach my little sentiment. All right. And that does it for me, you guys. That's that's it. I added my enamel dots and my dimension. Um, I got to do some stamping here. Um, stamping on my label too. Let's see if I can give you guys some more light. Super, super cute. Really, really love how this is, how this is coming out. Um, I cannot wait to see what you guys made today. So be sure and um, pop on over to the, to the Facebook or the YouTube channel and let, let me know your thoughts. Was this a, an easy card? 
design for you guys today. I'd love to know what cards, um, colors you used or what stamp sets you used. Um, I hope you guys all enjoyed celebration and got some goodies while you were able to during the celebration time. And um, I did want to highlight some other cards. It's not often, believe it or not, <laughs> it's not often or too often, I should say, that I get um, cards in the mail myself. Um, I love sending cards, but I am always over the moon when I get cards in the mail. So thank you guys. I did want to highlight some ones that were sent to me here recently. I love, love, love this card. And it has this adorable peppermint um, piece of candy on it. And I love the blues, the blacks and the greens in it. So cute. And the person that sent it to me did like an emboss resist. So it's all embossed here. It is super cute. It's subtle. I hope you guys can see that. There you go. It's subtle, but it's adorable. Um, and then when you open this, they stamped, uh, hope your day is as sweet as you are in there. So I wanted to highlight that card that I received. Um, that was really, really special to me. And then another card I received this week, I happened to get two cards in one week. Woohoo! I'm telling you, really makes your day guys way better than bills. Um, this actually came from, um, my, I guess you'd call her my, um, Oh, she's the demonstrator leader for the Midwest. Um, and I'm working with her for the demonstrator council that I have the privilege of being a part of this year with Stampin' Up. So that's really, really, really special to um, getting to have this um, special appointment, I guess you could say through Stampin' Up and, and getting to participate in a new way with the company and, and just seeing once again, how incredible Stampin' Up is and um, so I wanted to highlight that card too, because I love, 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 love how this was done in the background as well. And they just kind of stamped, stamped words and sentiments. I don't know if you guys can see that, where they just stamped off the sentiments multiple times. And it looks, it's just really cool technique too. So I wanted to highlight those two cards that I received this week. Thank you all very, very much. And yeah. I'm very, very excited for this new adventure. Um, I hope you guys continue to hang tight with me. Um, it is taking a little bit longer with videos to upload. So that is gonna be interesting to see how that goes, but I'm working really, really, really hard to um, have those videos uploaded as well. And I hope you continue to join me in this journey and any ideas you guys have for RV living um, and RV staying, please do send to me. I'm more super excited to hear them. And um, I'm learning this is brand, brand new adventure to me. Um, so feel free to share any of your wisdom and expertise. Other than that, I can't wait to see you guys next Friday for our Create With Me live event. Talk to you all soon. Bye.